The early bird catches the worm, as they say, and today on the bird and the world is the worm. Exercise first thing in the morning before yesterday's calories lay their dead, because in the morning, no one can touch me, because I am untouchable. I can, ho hold on, hold on. That's not how I do it at all, except maybe the flag. So what is the secret to being lean? What is it that I do? Do I think it's the monkey bar workouts I do and the fact that monkey bars require lots of abs and obliques work and therefore are a great way to get the ripped shredded look? Maybe, or is it the calisthenics and body weight training I do, which challenges the body to work as a whole, leading to overall muscle tone and good core function, perhaps? Or is it the years of bodybuilding split routines I've got behind me? Is it dependent on the food I eat and the macronutrient intake I get? Quite possibly. Or is it the fact I do some form of activity almost every day? Maybe. Maybe it's a bit of all of the above, but I do think there's one thing that holds everything together. How does anyone start building any of this into their lives? Well, the explanation is simple, but the implementation isn't. The answer, it's habit. I say that it's not simple, and in fact, it's difficult, but only in the beginning. A habit is something you usually do. It's the norm, something that doesn't require much cognitive effort. So the question is, how do you form a habit? How do you make those behaviors that will give you the body you want the norm? Shit, it's cold. That's what you get for doing this in January, I suppose. So it's a given that you need to exercise right and eat well, but where do you start with your food? I believe people inherently know what foods are good for them and what foods aren't so good. But I also believe we shouldn't all necessarily be eating the same food. Before I go into some guidelines I follow, I'd like to share with you a couple of books that have shaped my views on nutrition. The first book is Metabolic Type and Diet by William Walcott. This book talks about how different people's diets would have been shaped by the environment around them and the foods they eat would have been based on what was available to them. So people in one part of the world would have eaten a different diet compared to people in another part of the world. The food you eat may largely be dependent on the food your ancestors ate. It talks about macronutrients and gives you guidelines as to what your macronutrient breakdown should be. The other book I'd recommend is Eat, Move and Be Healthy by Paul Check. This also goes into the metabolic type and diet, but only for a section as opposed to the whole book. So it might be a better place to start if you don't want a whole book to go through. Both books have a questionnaire where the aim is to find your metabolic type. From there, you can build a diet based around the macronutrient intake you would need. If you want me to go more into this subject, then please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, check those books out and let me know what you think. So check that out if that's something you'd like to look into further. Until then, here are some of my general tips when it comes to nutrition. Limit processed carbs. The majority of your carbs should come from fruit and veg. Don't avoid fats. The so-called good fats are an important part of any diet. Get protein in every meal and make sure you're getting enough. And eat natural good quality foods. Please feel free to ask any questions regarding any of the above. So when it comes to training, obviously I like to do my workouts outside, mainly because the type of workouts I do do are the ones I find most enjoyable. The optimal training for being lean is any resistance training involving big movements and big muscles. Bodyweight training can come into this category as long as the intensity is high. Without going into too much detail, high intensity means any exercise that challenges you in the 0 to 45 second range. I do do some weight training still myself, more in the winter months, and these workouts will always consist of the big movements, squat, push, pull, lunge, etc. And they're the sort of movements I recommend involving in your fat loss routines, if that is your main goal. So we know how to train, we know which food is optimal, but how do we make this part of our lifestyle? How do we make it habit? 
So whilst it might be a cliche, you have to make these sort of behaviours part of your lifestyle and habit is what shapes your lifestyle. A habit is created over time and it's hard work in the beginning because it requires making changes. First shape your environment to make sure your new habit is more convenient and sustainable. Surround yourself with people who do the things you're already trying to achieve. And watch YouTube channels like this one to cement and reaffirm to yourself that this is the behavior you'd like to see constantly show up in your life. Make your new habits as visible and as easy as possible to do and remove any bad habits you'd like to see the back of out of sight and make them less attractive. If you'd like to know more on any of the topics I've spoken about today, please leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you got some useful tips from this video. Please check out the rest of my playlist for more tips and tricks, bodyweight training, monkey bars and more. I'll see you very soon on the next video. Take care.